Damn, I can't believe they made Big Act cry. Big Act's the one usually make him, you know. But I mean, it's a sticky situation. But this is what he had to say. And act like I know I'm in, I'm in, I'm in America. I gotta sit here and just act like I don't fuck with certain shit. I would never like it. I think it's for Iggy right now. He would have cried. Bitch, and after I beat you, crazy. He literally in tears, literally distraught, and this is what made him. Well, this is what Saucy Santana had to say. Where you at? But we all have public flyers and posters on our motherfucking page. So Tuesday, y'all Miami has a party in, in, in Miami. She having a Halloween party. Pull up on us. Pull up and come and, and come holler. And it's nothing for her to say to you. It's nothing for y'all Miami to ever say to you because she, she a girl. You a man. You a nigga. And you on and you doing an interview talking about oh I was about to beef with Santana, but I had to I had to ball I had to bow down because I was gonna lose. So you mean to tell me you could publicly bully a bitch on the internet every motherfucking day, but you don't want to get it. You don't want to get into a stat or a combat or a physical altercation with a motherfucking gay boy but you like to argue with bitches though stop playing with people the bitches don't play on the internet so carisha got a party on tuesday in miami and pull up if you don't have to send the sub come and address me come and address the niggas that's gonna be in the motherfucking room stop playing games on the internet and then you wondering why bitches calling you boxy boys and bags and punks because you're drama film you only fuck with bitches oh that was a mouthful but i mean uh, he comes from jamaica so I think they're very passionate about that topic. But he uh, he said it was triggering, right? And he said, he said, uh, when I see Saucy Tantana, it's rubbing on the mere fabric of what I really grew up on. Academics explained in the stream. It brings me back to a hateful part of my life that I really tried to get past. I'm not trying to get canceled to mess up what we got going on. I'm never trying to get canceled saying the wrong thing. I know what we got going on. I love him. He said, I'm not trying to get canceled. He went on to, un to, to an unnamed man that could be heard in the background. He said, but does th this shit does bother me. Put it like this. With everything we talk about, I never care. I don't care what rapper got at me, bro, ever. But really, there's a certain shit I don't really fuck with in my life, and that I will never do. Yeah. I mean, obviously, uh, I'm an ally, so I, I don't have no issue with any anyone, right? People are people to me anyways. He said, speaking to how sensitive America can be when it comes to touchy subjects, his voice began cracking as tears came down to his face. He said, but I'm in America. I got to sit here and just act like I don't fuck with certain shit. I don't like it. Just please. I hate certain shit to the soul of me. And that in it in it of itself is a, is a pretty, pretty strong statement with the climate that we're in right now. So it sounds like he really does have his back against the wall because Ak don't hold his tongue for nobody. Pause. He he let everybody have it right. So to see him so flustered in a situation like this, you can tell it really affects his core. And to get to Ak's core, that's man's been doing this for a minute. Um. So, uh, uh man. I mean, like uh, obviously I'm African, right? So certain things are perceived with such emphasis and that sounds like the same thing that he was raised with and it sounds like he's in a different place of in his in his life and doesn't want to revisit that so i can understand his reluctance and his frustration because it's drawing him back to something that he was raised on right something that isn't necessarily uh positive but is a part of the culture that he's from so yeah i i can understand where he's coming from but at the same time, it's like your job entails you to. That's a the shady line right there. That's a very gray line to even uh, uh, balance. Because in that case, some might argue why even, you know, but I'm a big act fan. Shout out to the City Girls. Without music, Carisha please just won best hip hop platform. So. And then JT is a superstar with one of the biggest superstars in the world. So outside of music, they're pretty successful. So kudos to them on that.